Okay, today I'm going to show you how you can quickly and effectively test your fuel injector's electrical resistance in order to determine if they're in specs. Basically, there's only two tools you need. A nice uh, digital multimeter, like this one right here. Uh, I think I got this one at Harbor Freight Tools. It's about like $3 on sale. Um, you don't need anything too fancy. If you don't have a Harbor Freight where you live, you can go to Radio Shack or Walmart and usually pick one up for about 10 bucks. Just, you need a basic one. Nothing too fancy for this. Um, and then the only other tool you're gonna need is a nice flat blade screwdriver. And uh, these are my fuel injectors down here, right here on the fuel rail. Right next to the intake manifold. And uh, basically all you need to do is a metal clip right here you got to push that in and then you want to take your screwdriver Sorry, I might have to do this two hands so bear with me you got to push in the clip and while you're pushing it in you're gonna pry up from the center. This one doesn't want to come loose. All right, there we go. Got it off. Okay. Now you can see down in the fuel injector, there's two prongs. And basically, you're gonna to want to take your nice, cheap digital multimeter. Uh, this particular model is not auto ranging, so I gotta turn it on, set it to the ohm setting here, and I wanna turn it down to 200 is the lowest setting, because we're only looking for about less than 20 ohms of resistance. Now you're gonna wanna take your, take your two probes, black and red, and it doesn't matter in which particular order you touch them. And you're going to want to touch them down on these two prongs down here. And then if you have a good connection, you'll get a nice reading. And right now I'm getting about 16.8 ohms. And that's uh, about within specs for this car. Now, um, you might be asking why why would the reading be off? What would cause it to be too low or too high? Well, in order to explain that, I'd have to quickly explain how a fuel injector works. Basically, it's um, fuel injector is an electric solenoid. It uses a, a thin, long coil of wire inside that, when energized, creates a magnetic field which is pulsed on and off to open the injector. Now if you have a resistance that is too low, it usually means that uh, part of that coil of wire has broken off somewhere in that strand and is now connecting lower in the coil somewhere. And that's basically what you would call a short. And that would give you a lower than normal resistance and would cause your injector not to fire properly. Uh, now if you had a higher than the normal resistance, that could be caused by uh, corrosion on the terminals, um, maybe some type of corrosion inside the coil of wire. Basically either way, you don't want to have too low resistance or too high resistance. Fuel injectors are pretty, pretty uh, What's, I want to say pretty sensitive to resistances so you want to have them close to an spec and all your fuel injectors generally be within two ohms of each other and uh, this is a good check on uh, F-body cars because the GM Multec injectors that came with these cars are known to fail so that's how you do it pretty easy